What's up, Orange County? Sent our cameras to Las Vegas for the annual CinemaCon, where we had a chance to meet up with actor Kevin Costner. Hey, what's up? I don't know, you know, I, I, I never intended to make a sports movie in the beginning, although I love sports and played them since I was little, you know, until uh, the street lights came on. That's how, I, that's how I knew I had to go home. And it was baseball, it was basketball, and it was football. So and that cycle never stopped for me. So I have a genuine love of sports, but I love movies even more in the sense that I don't want to make a sports movie unless I think it can become a classic. Uh, that doesn't mean it does, but it doesn't, it means I won't start it unless I think it actually has that chance. And, and I felt that way about uh, Bull Durham, I felt that way about Tim Cup, I felt that way about, you know, um, Love of the Game and Field of Dreams. And I, when I read uh, Draft Day, I thought it could very easily take its place among those movies. Um, you know, and, and the best sports movies are obviously not about sports. They're about girls and boys who do get along and sometimes don't get along and have a, just a strong desire to be together. And sometimes don't have the words to figure out how to do that. So, you know, it's just as hard to make a bad film as it is a good one. It's just as hard making a film with, with low amounts of money as it is with gobs of money. They're hard, you get up early and you stay late. And uh, for me, the thing that uh, gives a movie its very best chance to succeed is not really money, it's a script. And there's a giant difference between script and story. People confuse them. Oh, it's a good story, it should make a good movie. Uh, not unless it's a good script, It'll just, it just doesn't always, it doesn't happen that way. And, and people don't invest enough in the written work. You start off and you just want to work, that may sound very humble, but it's truth. You know, when I decided that I was going to be an actor, no one gave me a chance. Uh, I certainly didn't know how to explain to anybody how it would work. I didn't even know how it worked. I used to, I used to drive my truck in every day to um, La Brea and Sunset, and that's when Ships was still there. And uh, I would uh, park my car right by a phone booth, and I would just go to sleep in my truck, a little Dodson truck. So I didn't know what else to do. I knew I needed to come into Hollywood every day. I just didn't know where to go. I would kind of curl up in kind of a fetal position. I would just kind of sleep. I was just trying to dream of how to get started. And I, you know, I stayed next to the phone booth because we didn't have cell phones back then. I thought, you know, I'd get the drama log. I didn't really know what I was doing. I just knew what I wanted to do. And so to think that um, I'm kind of, you know, attached to that four-letter word um, is kind of um, interesting, but it, I, I know how it happened. It happened as a result of, of great scripts, and um, my wife thinks I'm charming. My kids kind of do too, <laughs> but you can't, you can't do that for two hours on film. You have to be armed with, a, with something that moves people in the dark. Well, I had three children, and, and my wife said she wasn't going to have any more. She says, you have to go. <laughs> You have to go out there and make this work. Um, no, it, but, but I, I, I did take time off with the children. Uh, um, I'm, you know, I've been married twice, and I'm really happiest about, you know, not looking back on my first time and thinking, God, I wish I had given more time to my children. I know a lot of guys have that a little level of regret. I was so busy doing my career, I, I felt like I let that time slip by, and this time I'm gonna do it right. I'm not saying I did it right, but I have no regrets. Uh, when I, the first half of my career, I spent so much time with my children, that was probably my biggest worry being married a second time was, can I give as much to my children this time as I did the first time? So um, part of having them was, you know, you know, to be around them. I mean, my children really don't even know I'm an actor. They're six, five, and three. They think I live in a trailer. 